There's been a lot of news in other forms of racing lately regarding tire pressures and how pressures are established and monitored. So here's a look at how Michelin operates. As each tire is mounted, Michelin inflates it with air to seal the bead securely around the rim, and then the teams set the desired air pressure for performance. As the car runs at speed, the tires build both temperature and pressure. Each team will have a targeted hot pressure. The key is respecting the minimum cold pressures recommended by the tire manufacturer and adjusting accordingly to hit the target hot pressure. If the cold pressures are set too high, the hot pressures will make the tire overinflated. The tire will overheat and increase sliding. If cold pressures are too low, the tire will be underinflated. The aerodynamic and lateral loads will not be spread evenly and the tire will be over deflected. Before and during each race, Michelin engineers provide guidance to the teams on the correct pressures. The technical dance is that some drivers like to feel the car lower pressures. However, tire endurance performance is better at the proper pressure. And if I may add, as a public service, Michelin recommends you check those tire pressures in your passenger car before a long trip. And if you don't know what they're supposed to be, check the driver's side door. They're usually listed right there. Just one more thing Michelin does for the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. And today it's from Lime Rock Park. And we've seen all of the GTLM cars on pit road and off pit road again. They did not change the order in which they run. Had one taker in GT decal, and that was Madison Snow came to pit road. It was too early, too early for a driver change. Yeah, your only option would be to get back in again to uh, do that final five minutes that you need. He came in with about 40 minutes run in this race. So uh, on brutally hot conditions and not totally out of the question to do a double driver change, but you're risking something going wrong. So typically it's a single or a double, and then a single or a double for the uh, second driver in the, in the car with you. But those Michelin, getting back to the Michelin tire tech tip with, with Kevin, I mean, those Michelin tire engineers are such an important part of the overall makeup and chemistry of any race team. I mean, they're so critical in identifying where you should be with the pressures, where you need the temperatures to get to, and particularly in GT Le Mans, where they have multiple compounds to work with. I had a tire tech that used to ask me not to stand and cast a shadow over his tires, <laughs> as I might change the pressure just a little bit with the temperature change. I had that, and I realized that the guy was just talking about my nose. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I was that big. I mean, not, uh, anyway, we go down a path here. <laughs>